Hello? Is the camera on? Hey guys! Well, it's been a year since this game has launched, so I guess by now I might as well show my face on YouTube. So, as you know, we're only about a week away from the launch of our next pack. So now, it's better than ever to do a top 10 of what came out of the previous pack before the next release set. So anyway, Shadow here, and let's get started with the top 10 cards. For my number 1 card, I chose Level 2 Roy. So, although this card right now is a pretty good support card for purple deck since it does what you need to do in a purple deck with a pretty cheap cost, I think this card is definitely going to be a block better in the future when Elowood comes out. Uh, maybe there'll be a better main character you can use uh, that's not Roy, so that way this level 2 card can be more useful. But as for right now, most main characters in the purple deck can't really be used, so that's why this card is in our number 10 spot. For our number 9 spot, we got the Apostle herself, Sanaki. So she's a pretty interesting card because she does exactly what you want a green deck to do, is that, and that's to max out your levels. She definitely works as a main character and a support card, however, her high level kind of hinders what she does. And also, having a level 1 that can't really attack makes, it, makes her kind of eh, and kind of hard to get out. But she's definitely a fun card to throw into any green deck because she, like, generally she's going to be 70 base attack for a ranged unit anyway. And plus, she maxes out all your levels, so why not use her? And for our number 8 spot, we got our Dragon Girl, Faye. Faye's just another cool mana key, kind of like Naoi. Not as OP because she doesn't have range, and also she doesn't give you hand advantage. She does exactly what you want a purple deck to do, and that's the stack cards. I think this card's always going to be somewhat relevant in a purple deck, or whatever a deck that's going to potentially use purple cards, you can always use her as an option. But like most dragons, she's a pretty good card, and that's why she takes our number 7 spot. Next up is Clarine. It's another Lana. Easy way to get cards back. Only one cost. Number 6 spot. Easy as that. And next, we got my bae, Makaya. I love her so much. Too bad she sucks in a real game. As for right now, she's the cheapest way to get a draw. By flipping only one bond. And leveling her up even pressures your opponent to try to kill her early, thus leaving your main character alone. As well as triggering effects like Alincia and Bastion, which only trigger when a card is leveled up. And for our fifth spot, Elwood. At the moment, this card's pretty expensive, but when the next next set comes out, this card should be pretty cheap to get. But regardless, this is a pretty good card, and it's a pretty cheap way to help you stack your deck. Unfortunately, it's a neg one, but with decks that use cards like Marth or something, that neg one's not going to be such a big deal anyway. And for our fourth spot, we got Fight. Crazy how a card with normal rarity went to fourth place. But she's a flyer with 30 support, stacks herself, and also has flyer's emblem, so pretty much you can move a card and your next attack's pretty much gonna go through. She's a really good card that I'm pretty sure any purple deck is probably gonna use her even in the future. And I wish I had a signed version of the next card, but we got Lolina. Level 4 Lolina is a really cool card that lets you draw cards whenever you go neg 1 essentially by discarding cards for effects. And additionally, she even lets you destroy those annoying mana keeps like Naoi and Tiki that every deck has difficulty dealing with. Number 2 we got Ike. My man Ike got super buffed from getting buff. His Aether ability is insane, and if you can get him to level 5, the cost is only 1 to use it. Having a main character at 80 attack to destroy 2 cards every time he attacks, that's a good card. And this guy, along with the next card I'm going to talk about, made the Ike deck so much better than it was before. And lastly, we got Elincia. So yeah, just a rare, number one card of this pack, in my opinion. This card is amazing in green decks. She has a really cheap card that lets you promote cards from your deck. This is the first card that's done that so far. And since it's considered a class change since you're putting the card on top, you even get a draw out of it. We got some crappy cards that make you flip two bonds just to get a draw. So why not class change your card while you're at it? And her first ability allows you to untap her when a card levels up. A green deck could not have asked for anything better. All hail the queen. So that was my top 10. What'd you guys think? Do you agree with anything I chose? I'm pretty stoked for the black support in the next set. Uh, the yellow cards, not so much. But the black cards, so cool so far. And as always, see you guys next time. Peace!